all right guys i finally got it it just came by the mailman dropped it off and here it is guys this is the last hardware that i need to get my 4k rig get started um, so this is the geforce gtx 1080 it is not the overclock one this is just the basic one um, basically you don't really need to get the high performance video card um, if you just want to do the 4k editing on the adobe premiere if you're a gamer yes you definitely need that high performance gaming card but for my what i need is i don't really need that overclock gaming card so without further ado guys let's do a quick unboxing on this before i get this installed on my pc and hopefully it will boot up and start up so let's get going let's open this up and see what's inside and yeah so let's do it right now okay where is my knife here I'm just cut this seal off here sorry for the background noise I have my dad right now is uh, cutting the grass so let's open this up and uh, we'll get this going all right here we go oh frick i just cut my finger here ouch good one good one good one okay let me just pop this slide it out boom so we've got another box in here all right here we go and we've got another box but before we check that out let's see what's here on the side okay there's nothing there so this must be your instruction manual and your cables and stuff and CDs yep okay put that on the side and here it is guys there is the video card let's pop this out oh wow nice very very nice so it's got some weight to it guys okay So right now I'm recording on my Galaxy S8 Plus in 4K and let me just pop this video card out. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Look at that guys. Wow. What a beautiful video card. You got the three fans there. All your hinks, heat sink it's right there. The back, you've got your um, DVI. You got, I think, two two set of um, what is this called for your monitor? Okay, you got your um, HDMI two sets, and this one is your standard monitor connection there so here it is this is the rgb everything lights up over here and along on the side here as well i think this one lights up here and on the back this lights up as well right here okay so let's uh install this and see what it looks like on my new rig that i'm making right now this is like i said this is the last component that i need to get my computer started here and hopefully it will start but let's just measure this and see how heavy it is guys so you guys have an idea what the weight is on this so just hold on all right so i've got my scale here let's try to measure the weight on this and i've got it on let's put it Hold on. Uh oh. What happened to my. Okay. So let's put it in pounds and see how heavy it is. Oh wow. That's 2.4 pounds, guys. That's quite heavy. So in grams, that would be 1,076 grams pretty heavy guys all right so let's install this in my pc 
and uh, hope for the best. All right, guys, so look at what I found here. It looks like this thing is used. As you can see, there is already like a dent mark there or a scratch mark or what is that? A scuff mark. So you can see right there. That is really bad, guys. So I'm going to be returning this. Um, they bloody just wasted my time. Waited for too long for this and look at the item that they sent me here. Look at that scuff mark. That's not acceptable guys. This is an expensive video card. Okay. So I'll take a couple of pictures here, show it to Amazon.ca. Look at that poor quality. Really, really bad. Okay. Alright guys, so I got it installed. It's right there. All the system, my computer here is all working. Uh, <laughs> Luckily, I managed to uh, get it working. There was some technical issue with uh, installing the window 10 and the uh, internet connection, but I was able to manage to fix it. But anyways, there is the video card right there. Uh, as you can see, the RGB looks very nice. The color just fluctuate to different colors but uh, you could also set it up I guess once you install the software for this but anyways this is what my setup looks like there is my uh, temperature gauge that I that I installed in there let me see if I could get it oh you won't be able to read the, the temperature but anyways it is 30 31 32 degrees Celsius inside and I got my water cooler up there, water cooler. There's my 32 gig, um, 32 gig of RAM. And uh, let's see what else is there. But anyways, that is my setup right there. I think I might put some lights in there so we could see the motherboard. And here is my 34 inch LG curved display amazing amazing monitor here guys you definitely need to get one of this so freaking convenient when it's uh when it's time to edit you've got that nice wide screen to um to take advantage of when editing but anyways there's my computer my new rig my 4k so i'm just gonna try to edit this video i'm gonna try to edit it in 4k and we'll see how long it will take but anyways let's look around over here that's my front that is the top right there and the side here there is pretty much nothing okay yes my room is messy right now i need to organize this place but so far and here is the tempered glass which i will be putting on the side and it should be ready to go so we've got a video here approximately eight minutes long I'm gonna render it in 4k I want to see how long it will take and also I will monitor the temperature um, it is 34.1 Celsius right now I know the video the camera is not picking it up I don't know why but anyways we'll see how fast it will ch um, it will render so let me grab my timer here and uh, we'll set it up so right there there's my timer so once I press the render I will press the timer so save okay export here we go and off it goes so nine minutes it says there so again I got the AMD uh, Ryzen 1700X um, with a GTX 1080 video card. The RAMs are 32 gigabyte of RAM. Um, they are 2000, I think. No, 3000. I don't know if it's overclocked yet, so I'll double check that later on. But anyways, we'll just do a quick eight minutes 4K rendering here and see how fast it will. Um, render
All right, so the temperature is at 33.5 now. The fans are picking up. I can hear them. I'll just put the camera here right beside it. At the same time, my dad's still lawn mowing outside, so it's kind of useless for me to uh, let you guys hear the fan. But yep, the CPU and the GPU are both working hard to render this 4K video. We are at 12% and the time is almost 2 minutes. And this is an 8 minute 4K rendering. Alright, so I'll just cut this off and then we'll just pick up when it's almost done. Alright guys, so we are almost done. We've got 25 minutes, uh, 25 seconds left and we're at 12 minutes. And my rig here, it is freaking loud. <laughs> it is um, it is working hard right now guys. As you can hear the fan. And the temperature went up to 35.3 degrees Celsius. That is with the side open as well too. So, but anyways, the fans are working hard right now. The CPU, the GPU, they're all working hard to finish off this eight minutes 4K rendering. So we are almost done. Um, it still uh, has a couple of seconds left there. And uh, let's see what time do we have. We are 13 minutes right now. And it should be done. There you go. So we finished it in um, 13 minutes. And the video is roughly around 8 minutes and 27 seconds. So that's how fast it was able to render that. And yeah, so all the fans right now are um, are uh, slowing down. They did their job. The GPU, CPU, let me feel the temperature here. Oh yeah, it is quite warm in there, guys. Yep. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will try to render another video, another 16 minutes video. I just want to see how long it will take because the last... PC that I bought from Best Buy took roughly around 33 minutes to render a 16 minutes 4K. So I'm gonna try to see if I can beat that with my new rig here. But anyways, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about my rig, the Asus uh, GTX 1080 Strix, just let me know, leave me a comment down below. And that's pretty much it guys. So yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one.